creepy crawly creatures. Here they come. They creep and crawl and squiggle and scrunch. They wiggle and wobble and slither and slink. They are ants and bugs and caterpillars and centipedes and lizards and snails and snakes and spiders and worms. They are the creepy crawly creatures and they are everywhere. Lift a rock and there's a worm. Walk in tall grass and there's a snake. Stand under a tree and there's a fuzzy caterpillar dropping down. It's a creepy crawly invasion. They may make you shiver, but you should not be afraid. Creepy crawly creatures are some of the most interesting animals you'll ever see. Some creepy crawly creatures are insects like ants and fleas. Some creepy crawly creatures are reptiles like lizards and snakes. Some creepy crawly creatures are snails with shells. Other creepy crawlers are spiders, earthworms, and centipedes. All of these creatures have one thing in common. They creep and they crawl, and they live in a fascinating world. Insects are the largest group of animals on Earth. They live almost everywhere. Some are so small you can hardly see them. Others are giants in the world of insects. No matter what size or shape or color it is, an insect can be identified by certain characteristics. All adult insects have six legs. They have three legs on each side of their bodies. A spider has eight legs, so you know it is not an insect. An insect's body has three main parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. If it doesn't have three parts, it isn't an insect. How many parts does the spider's body have? Looks like two. This ant has three main parts to its body. Two feelers, or antenna, grow out of its head. The legs and wings of the ant are attached to the thorax. The abdomen is the biggest part. It contains the stomach. Are the scorpion and the centipede insects? No, they are not. The scorpion has eight legs, not six. And the centipede has many legs. <coughs> Excuse me. Ants seem to be everywhere. There are more ants on Earth than any other kind of insect. Scientists think there are thousands of different species of ants. Some ants are meat eaters. Some ants eat seeds. Some eat honey. Most ants are brown, black, or red. But some kinds of ants are yellow, purple, green, or even blue. Ants live in groups called colonies. Hundreds of ants may live in one colony, and each ant has a job to do. There are three different types of ants in a colony. The worker ants, the male ants, and the queen ants. A queen spends her life laying eggs. Sometimes a colony has only one queen, but some species of ants will accept several queens in one colony. The queen can live for as long as 20 years. Worker ants are wingless females. They do all the work of the colony. They take care of the young, they gather food for the colony, they feed the queen, and they fight with enemies to defend the colony. Worker ants can live as long as five years. The only job of male ants is to mate with young queen ants. Soon after mating, the male ants die, and each queen goes off to begin a new colony and lay her eggs. In a few days, those eggs will grow into larvae. The larvae, which look like little worms, must be fed and cared for. After several weeks, they began a period of rest as pupae. For about three weeks, the pupae will remain still and will not eat. Slowly, they will turn into worker ants to help maintain the colony. In the meantime, the queen will lay more eggs, which may grow into new queens, males, or workers, and the cycle will begin all over again. Like ants, bugs are insects too. 
When most people say bug, they mean any kind of insect, but there is a special group of insects that are true bugs. These bugs can be large or small, they can have wings, or they can be wingless. Most bugs live on land, some bugs live in water. But all bugs are alike in one way, they have no teeth. They suck blood or juices through a tube or beak on their heads. Water bugs, bed bugs, and stink bugs are all examples of true bugs. Do you remember the worm-like ant larva on page 17? Let's just see. Right here. The crawly caterpillar looks something like a worm too, but it is not a worm. The caterpillar is the larva of a butterfly or moth. It is on its way to becoming a butterfly. As a larva, it is in its second stage of growth. Its first stage of life is as an egg. When the egg hatches, out comes a caterpillar. This small crawly creature spends its time eating and growing. It is very hungry. First it eats its own shell, then it eats leaves and plants. The caterpillar grows, but its outer skin does not. When the caterpillar gets too large for its skin, the skin just cracks and falls off. A caterpillar may shed its skin four times before it is fully grown. When the caterpillar is grown, it goes on to the next stage of its life. The caterpillar finds a leaf or twig to attach itself to and forms a hard case or chrysalis around itself. It is now called a pupa. The pupa grows and changes inside the chrysalis. Some take a few days to develop, others take more than a year. At the end of that time, the crawly caterpillar is gone, and out of the chrysalis comes a beautiful fluttering butterfly. A month. Instead of crawling like a caterpillar, most lizards slither along on four legs. A lizard is a reptile. Reptiles have scaly skin and are cold-blooded. This means their body temperature changes to match the temperature of their surroundings. Most lizards live in warm places. Lizards come in all shapes and sizes. There are about 3,000 different kinds of lizards in the world. Some are very tiny and grow only a few centimeters long. Some lizards look like snakes. Others are very large and almost look like crocodiles. The biggest lizard is called the Komodo dragon. It lives in the East Indies and it grows to about 10 feet or 3 meters in length. The Komodo dragon is a giant creepy crawler. Like the lizard, the snake is a reptile too. The snake has no legs. It moves along by wriggling its body. The snake's backbone is a long chain of tiny bones, up to 430 bones in some kinds of snakes. These short bones are connected by joints that help the snake bend easily as it slithers across the ground in a curving motion. There are nearly 2,700 species of snakes. About 270 types of snakes carry venom, which is poisonous to other animals and humans. Rattlesnakes, water moccasins, and coral snakes are examples of snakes that are venomous. Garter snakes, red milk snakes, and corn snakes are examples of snakes that are not venomous. One of the most interesting things about snakes is the way they eat. They swallow their food whole. The snake's jaws open wide, its teeth latch onto its prey, and the powerful jaws pull the snake's victim into its mouth. A large python can swallow an animal that weighs about 100 pounds, or 45 kilograms. Strong juices in a snake's stomach will digest the animal, everything but the feathers or hair. The snake slithers, the ant scurries, but the snail creeps. Snails belong to the class of animals called gastropods. This word means belly-footed creatures. The snail creeps along on a muscle that is called a foot. When the muscle pushes backward, it makes the snail move forward. The snail has a soft body that is usually covered with the hard shell.
There are thousands of different types of snails. Some live on land, some live in the sea, and some live in freshwater. Most snails live from 2 to 20 years. Some snails are so tiny you cannot see them. Others grow as long as 2 feet, about 61 centimeters. Most snails feed on plants. The crawly spider feeds on insects like flies and mosquitoes. Some big spiders eat lizards, birds, and mice. Some spiders even eat each other. The female spider will sometimes eat the smaller male. Spiders belong to a group called arachnids. Like the spider on page 11, all arachnids have two body parts and four pairs of legs, but no wings or antennae. Many spiders have eight eyes. They also have two mouth parts called pedipalps, which they use to cut and crush their food. Most spiders are small, but the tarantula can grow as large as a person's hand. Of all the thousands of spiders, very few are harmful. Most are really helpful because they catch and eat pesky insects, but some people are afraid of spiders anyway. One of the most feared spiders is the black widow. It is one of the few spiders that are poisonous to humans. The black widow has a red or yellow patch on its abdomen shaped like an hourglass. One of the most interesting spiders is the trapdoor spider. It lives underground and builds a trapdoor at the entrance of its home. When insects walk near the trapdoor spider's nest, the spider opens the door and quickly captures its prey. Spiders are best known for spinning silky webs. All spiders spin silk, but not all make webs. Spiders use their silk to catch insects. The silk is sticky. When an insect comes in contact with the silk, it gets caught and cannot escape. When the, then the spider crawls over and eats its dinner. Spiders have special claws on their feet that prevent them from getting tangled in their own silk. Like the snake, the earthworm has no legs at all. This creepy crawly creature tunnels underground most of the time. How does it move? The earthworm uses two sets of muscles to push the front part of its body out and then pull the back part up close to the front again. The earthworm's body is long and slimy. In fact, it's hard to tell one end of the earthworm from the other. It has no eyes or ears or nose. It does have a mouth, but the mouth is very hard to see. The earthworm has tiny hairs called CT along the bottom of its body. These hairs keep the earthworm from slipping as it moves. The earthworm belongs to a division of animals called annelids. The name means little rings. If you look closely at an earthworm's body, you will see that it is made up of tiny rings. The earthworm does not have lungs. It breathes through its skin. You might think centipedes and millipedes are the most crawly of all creepy crawly creatures. That's because they have the most legs to crawl with. Centipede means hundred footed. The centipede has a flattened body and one pair of legs per segment. It has two antennae and a pair of jaws. It uses its first pair of legs as fangs or poison jaws to inject poison into its victims. Centipedes eat worms and insects. Some centipedes can be poisonous to humans. Millipede means thousand-footed. The millipede has a rounded body and two pairs of legs per segment. It also has two short antennae. Millipedes live in dark, damp places and feed on decayed plants. There are many things to discover in the world around you. Watch carefully where you walk. There, on a twig, or under a rock, or munching on a piece of grass, may be something very special one of the world's marvelous, creepy, crawly creatures. The End